Welcome to my next tutorial about Geometry Dash 2.2. In this tutorial, as some of you have requested, I will talk about the rotate gameplay trigger and the reverse trigger. I also show you how to rotate the camera in case you use the rotate gameplay trigger. If you like the tutorial, it would be nice if you leave a like or subscribe. You can always suggest tutorials in the comments or ask about them. Have fun! So the first trigger we have here is the reverse trigger which you can find here in the trigger section on this page here. The reverse trigger has actually almost no setup, it only has a touch trigger, spawn trigger and multi trigger. I personally would use the rotate gameplay trigger, I will explain you later why, but I can show you for first what the reverse trigger is doing, says it's actually on its own. It reverses just the cube to the other side. This is our rotate gameplay trigger. The rotate gameplay trigger has a few more options and to set this one up, this is the special thing at this trigger here, you rotate this trigger and then the gameplay get rotated to that direction here. Note that this one is the ground, that means if it gets rotated here, then here will be the ground where the player will be sliding on. As you can see, the player get up here and slide then in that direction on this ground. The next thing we will do now is that I explain you what the options here are doing. I will set the trigger here now and the first I will explain to you is change channel. This is more important than added velocity. Change channel is that you can select here a channel. This is not this channel and this is also not the music channel here. This is a completely different channel. If we rotate now here the gameplay, then of course the triggers will not go here from left to right. The triggers will go from down to up. If you rotate the gameplay and have here set that it's changing to target channel 1, then you also have to consider that it's very important that you go here on edit group and select here also the target channel 1. This way the trigger will not be as usual from left to right triggered when the triggers get triggered from down to up. That's the important thing here. What you can also do is that if you have it like here and for example you want to use another channel for whatever reason you just place here the same trigger and don't want to rotate it being lazy and changing the channel only that it uses now another channel that is the channel only function for. It's not saying that only this channel here is used. Only this channel is used here anyway. Channel only means that it doesn't rotate the gameplay. This triggers only here for changing the channel to, for example, 2. Now before we are going into the velocity, I will show you shortly how to rotate the camera. You can use here the camera rotate and make it like here. Rotate camera by 90 degrees. And then we make it rotating in 0 0.25 seconds. That's actually it. This way it will rotate. And from what we have just learned, we can use instantly the new channel. I set this one now here to channel 1 and make it rotate minus 90 degrees. Don't forget here the add button by the way. What we have also to do is, of course, to make this here also in channel 1, otherwise this trigger will do the weirdest things ever. Now we go into edit velocity. Edit velocity is like a little extra where you can edit if your player goes from here to here, how high or how not high he has to jump. In the normal, in the classic mode, it only works here for, for the epsilon axis. The x axis is just for platformer mode. You will see later why. When I go into a platformer, make it, let's say, 5. To see when the velocity makes that the player jumps like this, very exaggerated. 
it's optional you don't have to set it but and if you make minus five then it will go direct to the ground here it makes no jump anymore as it did before here it goes directly to the ground what you can set here it is all up to you. We can make the same now for platformer mode. For this one I have to prepare a bit because in the platformer mode everything gets triggered from left to right. So I will set here a touch trigger and I will set here a touch trigger and make this one in platformer. Yeah, I by the way have made here a little gap. And you can see it will jump now because we have set him higher. To show it to you more clean, I add here 15. Then it might jump over the blocks, but I guess for the example it's here, you see. So yeah, this is what the Velmod X does. The last thing is to do instant offset. I, by the way, don't know what don't slide means. I have looked in a lot of official CD servers. In the documents here in Robtop info box is also nothing written about it. I can just show you what the instant offset doing. Instant offset is if we go back to the classic mode and removing all our touch triggers here now. I let it like this right now. Yeah, you see the camera goes smoothly there. If you put now instant offset, you remember the arrow or the rotate gameplay trigger was at the last block. Then the gameplay or the camera will jump instantly to a new perspective. What I meant earlier with a reverse trigger, the triggers will not make sense anymore if you just reverse it you can use this trigger here to go in the other direction and then you can also change the channel to for example free then the triggers will also go from the right to the left i can show you a little example in a bit also see i made it a bit more varied not like a box more like a maze if the player rotates this way yeah i have don't set up that the velocity get edited i have said that it should change to channel one here i have said that the velocity just stays at one and gets edited and i change the channel here back to zero here it should go back but it's of a gravitation and i have set here the velocity but i want it also to override then it changes to channel two also to a new channel and of course this one have set up with channel one and this one have set up with channel zero if this one when it goes from left to right and only activate channel zero if this one it goes from right to left and only activates triggers with channel two here i have put a jump pad because the velocity doesn't work if it's just sliding on the block so i have made here also change channel to channel three and the velocity three when it slides that way this one is on channel three of course also and changes it to channel four by the way i also want make here an override velocity and this one is changing it to channel 5 goes going from down to up and has channel 4 in the end trigger which makes our level finishing has channel 5 so only if we have this one pass it which is activating our channel 5 when the end also get activated and now i set something to see everything in game Thanks for watching the tutorial, I hope it helped you to understand some options to show you more. If you liked the video, it would be nice if you leave a like or subscribe to my channel. You can suggest every time new tutorials and you can also ask questions in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.